Hey there, it's Kim Marie on a gorgeous Monday. Got back last night late from New Jersey and I wanna to talk today about how I found my true love. So I've been working with clients for decades now, helping them transform their lives, helping them to, to uh, get past those obstacles that keep them stuck. And at one point in my life, I felt very depleted. I felt very attached to their outcome. Like their, my responsibility was to get them over the hurdle. And it, I started to feel depleted in that time. At the same time, my cousin, who was two years younger than me, suddenly died of a heart attack. And that experience broke me open to um, really being clear and intentional on where I was putting my energy. And I thought, well, I'm helping people. I feel like this is my purpose. So how is it that it could be detrimental, that it could be knocking me down or, or draining me in some way? I felt like I was what I would call my clients today as a problem solver, like I'm helping people. What I realized was that it was, I had this either or mindset. It was either give to me or give to them. And if I'm giving to them, it's, it's better. It's, it's, it's a better investment. What I realized through a lot of deep work was that if I didn't know how to love me and to nourish me and give to me, then I couldn't give from a place of even understanding what love is. You can't, you can't give what you really don't understand for yourself. So it's like putting the oxygen mask on your face first. It's understanding how to nourish yourself, love yourself fully so that you can give from a place of love and abundance from the overflow, not the either or, either I give to me or I give to them. It's if I invest in me, then I'm whole, then I'm complete. Now there's so much extra to offer. Now I've just multiplied my energy and I can give from that place. So where did I find love, unconditional love that I had always been wanting that validation, that feeling of I'm important, I'm lovable, I'm acceptable. I'm, you know, all those things, right? And the world reflects that, you know, maybe we're, there's discord in our relationships. Maybe we're not having that love relationship, that love that lasts a lifetime. We see people that have been together since high school and they're still in love and then I'm divorced and I keep having these failed relationships and blah, blah, blah that we tell ourselves. Here's what I've learned and here's what I'm passionate about. And this is, I think, why it was so purposeful for me to have experienced all this because what I found was the true, unconditional love, the investment that I think we all have to make in order to really feel love on a soul visceral level is finding the essence of who you are, that little boy, that little girl inside of you that I actually have to introduce my clients to, that part of themselves that they, that they didn't know how to connect to, don't understand how to connect to, don't know where to find, I, you know, just that piece of you that is waiting for you to feel integrated, for you to feel whole. And when we show up feeling integrated and whole, we're so attractive, everyone's more lovable toward us because we're being love. We're, we're, we are love and we are, right? We're all love, we're all light, that's what we are. Anything other than love and light is the 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 uh the shadows getting in our way the shadows it's moving the shadows out of the way so that we can just be who we truly are which is love and light i had this woman come up to me at the wedding the other night young gorgeous woman beautiful woman come up to me and was 
falling all over me telling me how beautiful I am. And I'm like, okay, I'm like two decades older than her and gray and not as in good of shape and wrinkle more, you know, all the blah, whatever, all the things you want to say. I mean, about 20 years, right? And she's telling me she wants to take a picture of me because she wants to be and look like me. And I will t say this. Well, number one, that was, that, that always makes you feel good. There's nothing wrong with that. But number two, it's because of the integration it, more than anything else that makes someone attractive is when they're whole within themselves. It's when they feel lighthearted and they, and they feel, and then they become magnetic. I would venture to say 20 years ago, I would never have gotten that compliment. I had, you know, probably nicer hair and less wrinkles and less fat and blah, blah, blah. But I was not as integrated and as free to just love to love you know love not worry about what anyone's thinking about you not wor you know not place a story around how they're acting is effect is because of me it's just love just being love and and being more accepting and being more compassionate and all of those things allow you to be free allow you to be in love you become you flip your magnet up and then everything in your experience becomes magical it becomes love it becomes that relationship it doesn't have to be on this one person but i do believe that is where you truly attract a you know an amazing relationship too i just had a friend of mine who's 65 and her her new boyfriend is 69 and there's the best couple they fell in love and they found they found each other both on vacation in mexico one lived in canada one lives in Asheville, and you know within months they're living together in Asheville now so they 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 found this within themselves and then they found it within each other so how do we find true love it starts in here and if you need help finding that please reach out to me please 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 reach out to me let me help you find that essence of you that is so beautiful and amazing and perfect just the way you are and lovable in every way so that we can magnetize and we can you can draw toward you the love you deserve to experience because you are love. It's returning back to who you are. So you reach out to me, please, please, please reach out to me, comment, repost this, have an amazing day, fill your heart with love. Mwah.